something to say, something to say. Hey everybody, how's it going? Our house 21 here and time for another quick tip. Now let's just say hypothetically you've got something like this. This is my son's car, Traxel, and he was a uh, Traxxas Rustler uh, RTR that we've upgraded to VSL specs, you know, with a Castle Creations power system. But it came with the older analog style uh, radio, which just was a pain to deal with. So we picked up one of these guys. You know, and you can get these from several retailers out there. This is a Traxxas TQ uh, 2.4 gigahertz radio, and it's a great little unit. I got this one particularly from Dollar Hobbies, but there's lots of guys on eBay selling them, and they're great. And they come, uh, you can get them with a, a receiver for about thirty bucks. But let's just say you take it and you hook it up into your model, and you start to go, and you notice that, hey, the servo direction's reversed. Okay, well, what do I do about that? So actually, with these radios, it's actually very easy to take care of that. So all you need to do is push to hold the little red button up on top until you start to see the green light flashing, like so. And you'll see that the light that was green on the receiver is start now flashing red. So now you take the servo that you would like to reverse or the control that you like to reverse and turn it all the way one direction. And now I'm gonna do this one-handed. So let's see if I can pull this off. So here. And now I push the set button with my other here and ta-da, servo is reversed. So this is an easy thing to do and um, and it works great. So, so you can use this great little radio with any of your models. So that's you know, it's actually a pretty cool thing. So go ahead and as always, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about this little tip. This is something that, you know, it's really simple to do, but it took me forever to find the information to do this. Uh, and there are some videos out there that show you. There's one that's even in, I don't even know what language is in, but it's not in English. So hopefully this will be a service to the community out there. You can also call Traxxas, and that's 1-888-TRAXXAS, and they can walk you through this process as well. Like I said, it's really simple. Just get your radio, turn it on. Now, one little thing to keep in mind is that if your batteries are low, this light will start blinking and it won't let you get into programming mode. So you need to have fresh batteries to do this. But, you know, it, like I said, it makes it so that this great little radio can be used. And uh, now this isn't as full featured as like the TQIs and some of the other ones that are hiring, but for 30 bucks, this thing has great range. It's a great radio. You know, it's kind of hard to beat. All right, so as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe. And my other son is getting... Nathan, you want yourself one of these too, don't you? So I've got a little RCer in training here. All right, but guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also always remember to fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. And don't forget to check out rcspeedrunhub.com and my Facebook page is rhouse 21 rc physics. So facebook.com forward slash rhouse 21 rc physics. All right, guys, see you next time. Peace. Oh, and did I mention fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, do it all over again. And hopefully Nathan doesn't break this thing right now. All right, guys, later.